Exercise 19-30, we're gonna calculate the job costs for a service company. So Chance Realtors, a real estate consulting firm, specializes in advising companies on potential new plant sites. The company uses a job order costing system with a predetermined overhead allocation rate computed as a percentage of direct labor costs. Now that's important. This overhead predetermined overhead allocation rate is computed as a percentage of direct labor costs. At the beginning of 2024, managing partner Andrew Chance prepared the following budget for the year. So this data table is budget information. In other words, these are all estimates. So he estimates that will be for direct labor hours of the professionals, 13,750 hours. Those professional direct labor costs, 2.2 million. And then we have our indirect costs, also known as overhead, office rent, support staff salaries, and utilities. Maynard, Manu Maynard Manufacturing Incorporated is inviting several consultants to bid for work. Andrew Chance wants to submit a bid. He estimates that this job will require 180 direct labor hours. So Andrew is going to be making a bid. So we have to help Andrew make the bid. Now to do a bid, you have to first calculate, well, how much will the job cost us? And then we will add to the cost, we will add um, the profit that we want on top of that. And then that will be our final bid. So requirement one, compute chance realtors hourly direct labor cost rate and then the predetermined overhead allocation rate. So beginning with A, we need to calculate the hourly direct labor cost rate. So over here we have a screenshot of the slide from our PowerPoint presentation where we step through this whole process. So for, for step A, what we're trying to do is figure out this $50 per hour of direct labor. So the way we calculated that is we took the salary and benefits, in other words, the cost of the lawyer, the professional, and divided it by the number of hours he was estimated to work in that year, which was um, 50 weeks because he gets two weeks off times 40 hours. So again, we're trying to calculate this per hour of direct labor. So notice the way we did it is we took the estimated direct labor costs so estimated direct labor costs and divide it by estimated direct labor hours. Estimated direct labor hours. So our estimated direct labor costs are right here, 2,200,000. So this is obviously multiple people. And we're gonna divide by estimated direct labor hours. We think there'll be a total of 13,750 hours. Whip out our calculator. Come on. That didn't help. Okay. So let's see if this will fix it. There we go. So we got two million two hundred thousand. 2,200,000 divided by 13,750. Gives us $160 per hour. Now maybe I can move that over here so I can see the slide at the same time. Check our answer. All right. So we've calculated that the direct labor cost will be $160 per hour. Now we need to calculate the overhead. Because remember, we have to figure out how much of the office rent, support staff salaries, and utilities this bid will require. So the way we did that before, we took the predetermined, we calculated the predetermined overhead allocation rate by taking the expected indirect costs divided by the expected direct labor hours. But in this case, this company, it's computing it as a percentage of direct labor costs. So what we're gonna do is take our estimated total indirect costs, 
and divided by direct labor costs. Estimated direct labor costs. So our total estimated estimated total indirect costs are 330,000 plus 1,200,000 plus 450,000. So we're going to take 330,000 plus 1,200,000 plus 450,000 gives us $1,980,000 of estimated total indirect costs. Basically our estimated overhead. So I'm going to put the commas in there so it's easier for you to read. And then we're going to divide that by estimated direct labor costs, which are right here. And that will give us our predetermined overhead allocation rate. In other words, it'll give us how much per direct labor cost, per dollar of direct labor cost, how much will um, we assign these indirect costs of office rent, support staff salaries, and utilities. So we're going to take 1980000 divided by 2200000 So 1980000 divided by 2200000 gives us 0.9. Now look, this is really important. Critical, this is asking for a percentage. So, how do we convert a decimal to a percentage? Two ways to do it take the decimal, make, move it two places to the right to get 90, or just if you're lazy like me, multiply by 100 gives us 90%. Okay, I think we're done with this box. All right. So now we're going to compute the predicted cost. So we have to figure out the total cost of this job. Now remember, this job, we think, is going to require 180 direct labor hours. So we can plug in 180. Well, first of all, let's plug this in. To calculate the direct labor, we're going to take the 180 out, direct labor hours. So 180 hours times this direct labor cost rate which is 160. So 180 times 160 gives us 28,800. So we think the direct labor for it to do this job will be $28,800. Now we have to assign it some of the overhead. So to do that, we're going to take this 90%. Oh, let me put the label in there. So now we need our indirect costs, also called overhead. We need to take the percentage, copy and paste. So 90% of this cost here. And why are we using that cost? Because remember up here it says the predetermined overhead allocation rate computed as a percentage of direct labor. And here's the key word, costs, not hours. So we're going to take 2880. 28,800 times 90%. I already got it typed in here. So times 0 0.9 equals 25,920. All right, so our overhead is going to cost this much. Our direct labor is going to cost that much. So I'm going to add those two. So plus 28,800 gives us 54,720. So that's a total predicted cost for this bid. But we don't want to make a bid with no profit. So we have to figure out how much profit we want to add to that. So it says if Chance wants to earn a profit that equals 25% of the job's cost, how much will they bid? All right, so to, to calculate the bid, you're going to take the total predicted cost, which is this amount, 54720 and then you're going to add your desired profit. So our desired profit is, remember, 25% of the job's cost. So 25% of that. I already got that number typed in there. So times 0.25. So we want to have a profit of 13680. So we're going to add um, the profit to the cost and that's our final bid. So I already got that typed in there. So we're going to add 54. 
720 equals 68,400. So when they f submit their bid, they're going to say, We're, we can do this job for 68,400. I hope they get the job.